Can you just tell me about the sure. collection, please? Yeah, I've been collecting cigarette cards ooh, for the best part of 30 years. And when the anniversary for World War I looked as though it was going to be a major event, I looked very hard to see what I've got in my collection to show the story of the Great War on cigarette cards. Um, that has proved slightly difficult because there are many, many of the cards of personalities, uh, crests, uh, army badges, that sort of thing, which, which are not only difficult to display, but in bulk are not that interesting. So uh, <clears throat> over the course of the last year, I've started to accumulate things which connect with the cigarette cards, uh, like comic postcards, uh, like little charity badges, um, anything which, will, which is of interest to, to show people in an, in an exhibition environment. How many cards do you have in total? Approximately? Approx approximately about 200,000 um, and about three to 4,000 World War I cards. And do you know how much they're worth? Uh, Ironically, the more modern cards, things which happened after the 1930s, 40, 1940s, are not that valuable. But the early cards, uh, particularly some of, the, some of the rarer silks from World War I era, you're now talking five, six, seven pounds on average per card. So it's getting quite, been quite an expensive hobby. What is worth in total? To be bluntly honest, <laughs> I haven't got that much of an idea. But it's, it's, it's a lot.